Hello, I'm Elizabeth Lawley, Superintendent of the Dayton Public Schools. Next school year will look different than a typical school year. There will be several safety measures in place to protect students and staff and to prevent the spread of COVID-19. All DPS staff will be trained to properly implement these protocols and students will be reminded to have good hygiene practices such as proper hand washing. Before students get onto a DPS bus, we are asking that parents take their temperature and do a symptom check. If a student is not feeling well or has a fever, please keep the student at home. This can help us avoid infecting a busload of students and even a school building. Upon arriving at school, students will have temperatures and symptom checks. However, we are still requesting that parents check students before getting on a bus. If a student arrives at school and has a fever or symptoms of COVID-19, they will be isolated and monitored by the school nurse until a parent arrives to pick them up. This quarantine room will be monitored by the school nurse, but we request that parents arrive as quickly as possible and take their student to be tested for COVID-19. All students and staff will also wear face masks or face shields as appropriate. These face coverings will be provided by the district. Students will leave these personal face shields at school each day, and those that are old enough will use alcohol wipes to sanitize their shields for the following day. For younger students, the district will sanitize their shields. In classrooms, all desks will be spaced at least two feet apart in accordance with safety requirements from the County Health Department. All desks will be arranged in rows that face forward. No small group pods or desks facing each other will be allowed. All buses will be loaded from the back to the front so students do not cross one another's paths while entering. We are requesting that students wear a mask while waiting for the bus as well as while riding the bus. Masks will become part of the student dress code. The district will provide masks for those students who do not have them. However, we request that students keep their mask for use on the buses. A limited supply is available. Movement outside the classroom will also be limited to prevent too many students in the halls at the same time. At the elementary school level, teachers rather than students will move between classes. For music, art, and physical education classes, movement in the halls will be limited to one class at a time transitioning to their special classes. More information about classroom changes at the middle and high schools will be shared at a later date. There will also be changes to the lunch and recess process to protect students. Those details will also be shared later. There are additional operating changes that include no visitors permitted in any school. Each building will have a thorough cleaning and sanitation schedule. Proper hand washing regularly throughout the day is expected for students and staff and hand sanitizer will be available in all classrooms. As we continue to monitor directives from public health, additional operating changes may occur. We will keep everyone informed if changes are needed. More information will be shared next week about the district's safe school restart plan. For all current information about next school year, please visit dpsrestart.com. Thank you.